Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with chicken salad summer rolls. That's right, I love chicken salad sandwiches. But every once in a while for a change of pace, I will do this gluten-free, low-carb, more exciting version. And if you're not familiar, these summer rolls are as fun to make as they are to eat. And by the way, if wrapping things in rice paper is not already a part of your life, it really needs to be. So please pay attention. And to get started, we'll need to mix up whatever our favorite recipe for chicken salad is, which always begins by cutting up or shredding some cooked chicken. And while I usually do this with leftover roast chicken, this time for the video I poached a couple chicken breasts. And yes, I will include a link for the official food wish method for doing that. And for a regular sandwich, I don't think it matters much. But for these tubular summer rolls, I think these longer torn pieces of chicken are going to work out better. Since if we cube it up with a knife, it's more likely to fall out as you eat it. And I really want to be able to eat this fork free. So you can chop, but I hope you tear like me. And then to our cooked chicken, we'll add a little bit of finely diced red onion, as well as some thinly sliced celery. And then we'll season this up very simply with some freshly ground black pepper, some salt of course, as well as a few shakes of cayenne pepper. And then I'll finish up with two optional ingredients, a little touch of smoked paprika, which I refer to as the bacon of spices, and then a little bit of ground cumin, which is certainly not gonna make this a curry chicken salad, but it's gonna give us a very subtle hint of that kind of flavor profile. And that's it, we'll finish up with as much mayo as we think we need, and then we'll give this a mix until everything's thoroughly combined. And one reason I've never done a video for my signature chicken salad is because it's so boring and unremarkable. Okay, I really do like it fairly plain and basic, although sometimes I will add some herb, but as you'll see later, I'm gonna dip this in a little bit of an herb aioli. So it sorta of would have been redundant. But anyway, the point is you're gonna mix up whatever your favorite chicken salad is. At which point we'll cover that in plastic and we'll pop it in the fridge until we need it. And sure, you can use it right away. But every chicken salad is better if it's thoroughly chilled and those flavors have been given time to develop. And that's it, once our salad is set, we can move on to the real star of the show, some rice paper wrappers which look and feel exactly like thin pieces of translucent plastic. And they're usually sold in two sizes, this small one here, and then a larger one about the size of a dinner plate. And before we can use these, we need to soak them in some cold water until they become flexible. But be careful not to over soak them, because as these hydrate, they get extremely soft and flexible, and if you go too far, they're harder to work with, and they could tear. So I'll generally soak them until they just start to get flexible, and then I'll just shake off most of the excess water and then lay it down on my work surface still damp. And that way, by the time this is filled and I'm ready to roll, it will be fully hydrated and hopefully easy to work with. And that's it. What once used to feel like plastic now feels like a thin piece of rubber. We can go ahead and start filling this with our non-chicken ingredients, which for me is going to be a couple slices of perfectly ripe avocado, followed by some strips of raw vegetable. And I'm going to do three kinds. All right, I cut up some orange and red baby bell which are obviously pretty sweet, but you could, of course, if you want, use some hot pepper. And then I'll also be doing some pieces of English cucumber, as well as some thin strips of carrot. And please note, we're starting about one third in from the edge. Okay, we need to have enough room to grab that rice paper so we can start the wrap. So make sure you leave about an inch uncovered. And then speaking of covered, once we place down our veggies, we will transfer over about a quarter cup of our chicken salad, spreading that out as evenly as possible. And this would be the perfect time to pass on the very obvious advice that you really can put anything you want in these. So feel free to customize to your heart's content. I mean, you are after all the Bismarck key of what these should be. And you should make these any way you want. And that's it. Once our chicken salad has been applied, we'll go ahead and top this with a half a handful of finely sliced romaine or the greens of your choice, at which point we will start rolling. Oh, and pro tip, do not trim your fingernails right before you make these. Otherwise, it can be a little tricky to grab that edge. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And what we'll attempt to do is roll this up, hopefully trapping everything inside, and we'll tuck those ends in the best we can. And even though it's ultra thin, it's actually surprisingly tough, and as long as you don't overstretch it too much, you should be able to roll it up without it tearing. Unless, of course, you're filming. Which, in that case, you're definitely going to have a hole. But relax, we're going to roll this in a second wrapper anyway, which I only do if I'm using the small wrappers like this. Okay, if we use the bigger 8 or 10 inch wrappers, by the time we roll it up, we're going to have like two layers of that rice paper. 
which I think is the perfect thickness. But when you use these small ones, when you roll it up, you're only going to have a single layer. Just a single layer, just a single layer. So for this size, we'll just soak a second one until soft. And then we will wrap our roll. Or is it roll our wrap? Either way, when we do this second one, we can kind of stretch it a little tighter. And if everything goes according to plan, once we finish, we should have a fairly tight, very beautiful summer roll. And even with two layers of rice paper, it is still going to be pretty much see-through, which is really what makes these so visually interesting. I mean, a couple slices of whole wheat are fine, but you cannot see through them. So advantage, rice paper. And I'm just going to make two and eat them right away, so it really wouldn't matter. But if you are going to make these ahead, I like to transfer them onto a plate that has a barely, barely damp paper towel on it. And then I'll simply drape that over and then cover it with plastic. And that will prevent your summer rolls from drying out. And if you're going to line up a whole bunch, make sure there's a little bit of paper or a little bit of plastic between each roll, since they can stick. And yes, believe it or not, these will hold overnight. But anyway, forget holding and storing. I'm going to eat these right now. So I went ahead and placed those next to some lemon and herb aioli. And I will include what went into that in the written recipe. And that's it. Our beautifully colorful and highly provocative summer rolls are ready to enjoy. And if I wasn't filming this video, I would just grab this and start dipping and biting. But as you may know, I'm contractually obligated to take some pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this in half so I can show off the inside. After a little bit of food styling, of course. And by food styling, I mean sticking that piece of chicken back where it came from. So I took a few pictures and then moved on to the official taste test. And as fun as these are to make, and as fascinating as that rice paper is to work with, these are also highly entertaining and addictive to eat. All right, there's something about that thin but chewy texture of that rice paper on the outside that really does make this thing better than the sum of its parts. And don't get me wrong, the parts are really good, even if you use a fairly boring chicken salad like me, but that it's encased in that stretchy, thin, translucent membrane just makes these, for lack of a better term, fun to eat. And while these, of course, aren't no carb, compared to a couple slices of bread, they are very low carb, not to mention gluten free, in case you or your loved ones happen to swing that way. Oh, and one small production tip I should have thinned my dipping sauce out a little more so I could drag the roll through without the ingredients sort of sticking and staying in the sauce. Although that really is a minor quibble. But anyway, I really did enjoy that first one. And I'm going to move on to the second one, which I won't bother to cut. And I'll just eat like I normally would. And of course, if you got some kids running around, I cannot think of a better summertime culinary project than this. All right, mix up a salad, whether it's chicken or tuna or something else. And slice up a few veggies. And then let the kids wrap their own rolls. Or of course, roll their own wraps. But anyway, that's it what we're calling chicken salad summer rolls. Oh, and in case you're wondering what the difference is between a summer roll and a spring roll, I've always heard that a spring roll was fried and a summer roll was served like this uncooked. But I could be wrong, since some of my favorite Vietnamese restaurants call these spring rolls. But no matter what you call them or what you put inside, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.